morning everybody so yeah we're about to go get the cows in just better turn on the uh, irrigator while well, it's uh nice and high before milking here so yeah it's a, a bit chilly this morning got my hat on raincoat on just for a bit of warmth a big plan today is we are looking for the irrigator we're looking for any cows that have got green paint on them because they have green paint very high chance that they've been uh, suckling on another uh, suckling on another cow or um, drinking another cow's milk. So definitely uh, not a good thing, and we must take care of that early. Okay. Just get the cows in. I uh, didn't see anyone with any green faces or anything. Just checking for cows and thistles. They've already chipped two red wart that were growing in the ground. They were growing, but they're still at the young stage. And not quite started shooting up yet. After I washed them, I usually meal them before, and geez, were they moaning and complaining. Yeah. Yeah, we've got to put a weight on her, she um, just doesn't look that well out of that back right quarter, just helps her out a bit. Yeah, these girls are milking well, you can hear a slurper. Another slurper. Yeah, are we going good? Just waiting on Dad, Dad's not here yet. Yeah, that girl's coming. Oh, here he is. Morning, Dad. He's finally arrived. No, no, there's only the third row coming in. He helped me cut the second row still. That's all good. Come on, ladies, up we go. Come on. Here's our uh, girl here who's um, thought we got sucked. She hasn't been sucked. And uh, turns out she's not got very much milk, so she's drying herself off. So, goodbye on Monday. Yeah. Got a few going to the sale yards on Monday. Yeah. Hey, oh. Not even eating meal. That'll explain yeah, it. Yeah, that's us all washed up. Dad's already shot off down the farm. He's all washed all the yard here. Let's go and get the tractor. Just about to load up the silage. I grabbed three of the four bales out of required. Two bales for them, but... I grabbed out another two for tonight because we've got to try and get rid of that front lot or at least most of those bales before this rain hits if we do get it so we're prepared but that's um bringing down a jersey cow that's uh that's um not milking that's dried herself off so i'll wait here till he gets her out because he's going to put her with the herd and then we'll be able to grab those uh grab those two bales and feed out get these ones out of the way might as well put them straight across the race it's a bit of grazing out there so they'll be right in there come on hurt you three of them are across so far yeah, all the carryovers are, uh, carryovers are shifted Dad's taking down the jersey there to go put it with the herd. The herd's just over there. And we're gonna go load up with another, with our two bales of salt. Why did we put it back in the herd? Only because we're gonna fatten her up before we send her on Monday. So she's gonna get good silage, good maize, good meal, and she'll be nice and big ready for um, Monday, so Monday sale yards. Now they got their two bales of silage. So I think it's time to go get their uh, Amazing. Bale of silage on the front. Bale of silage on the back. And we're ready. We're going to go and load up with some maize. Well, drop this all up to the front first, then load up with some maize. See us down to the maize chopper. Tap her up. Back to the gear we want. Man, the tractor can handle it, but. I don't think the maize chopper can handle it. Mm. No, that's right. Must hear it. 540 reefs per minute. That's right. On the video shaft. 
today Let's see how she's looking where's the ladder there's a little ladder on this oh here it is not too bad not too bad give you the maze up here so we did one and a half runs today two runs around would actually follow not bad, not a bad load. Go happy. <laughs> right, thank you, Dad. You hooked up the trailer for us. We're off to go feed out. Let's put the front end loader down today. I put the front end loader up so I can go that way and put up, um, go over the maze chopper. But front end loader down to go underneath the tree. She's a bit heavier today. She definitely feels a lot heavier. She Pulling a bit differently. It's only uh, one and a half rounds, so two rounds would probably fill the maze wagon. Just saying, this is not the most favourite gateway to get into down here. Very hard from this angle with the uh, spreader on, so Let's see how we go with the wagon on, which is a bit longer. It'll swing really wide. It's only a, um, it's only a skinny race. Today, it's going to be interesting. Up and into the spot. I want that maze. There's a little race bit there, and um, we'll go find a nice high bit to get down here. Come yeah, on. I started feeding out is because of the rushes. We don't want to feed out through the rushes, even though we can go through a couple of them, but we don't want to feed out through the rushes because we want to find these nice plateaus. Hard around here. But there's these nice plateaus here. Uh, we 
here. We're going to feed out. The girls can get to the food, get to the mains. Um, why don't we feed out the piles? Because last time we fed out the piles was with the different wagon where it dropped it all off, just dropped it out the front, didn't have that side feed. And what happened was the uh, girls would just start circling around that pile and it'd make big black marks all around it, whereas this way, they're only just going to make marks around where the line is instead of big patches of just black marks of maize where they've eaten their maize where they've circled the maize see the beaters there just through there taking the maize back Dad's going to open the back for us so he's me hopping out can't really see him back there two big piles to finish Girls are looking happy. They got a lot of maize. So why don't I stop feeding out here? Because when you turn a certain direction, the maize, instead of it compacting into a smaller pile, it'll spread out. Because when you turn, it essentially pushes it out there, out to the side. So when I do a right turn, I don't have to turn it off. When I do a left turn, I do. So as you see here, the girls aren't circling. They're just eating from the pile. And I'll slowly push along. And they're not really standing in the middle of it unless they get pushed in. May's all fed out, ready for the girls, loving it. So if you're asking why when I come through I didn't turn into there instead of pushing the cows back this way, it's quite a small gateway to get in with this tractor and this trailer. You can get in it, it just takes a couple of attempts, a couple of movements up, back and forth, back and forth, and um, positioning yourself in the right way to get through. Instead of working to do that, why not just drive straight through and carry on to the paddock? That's why we go straight ahead. It makes it a lot easier to get in the back. All good, all right, we'll carry on. We are going to go and take this trailer off. And then we are going to put on the round bale feeder and see what else we get up to today. Just connect A lot of bugs there. Ah, well, it's an absolutely beautiful day. So we're gonna grease her up grease there her up and the bowl feeder and then we're going to go and uh, then we're going to go down and set up paddock in number 14 and then go and check to make sure that our drains are all open for this big storm coming through There we go, all set up. Happy with that. Sweet. Let's carry We're on. Looking forward, you can see the culvert in there. Ends perfect. Doesn't need digging out. We'll check the other side now. Have a look. Looks pretty good. Sweet. Let's go and check the next culvert. We don't have to go too far. We only got to go to uh, probably about four or five paddocks up. That's about it. Then we'll head out to the swamp. I was going to swamp first. We'll do the swamp second. Yeah. We're checking the culverts because all of the water that comes from that way comes all the way down here and in between these first two maize paddocks here it goes underneath the rain. 
face here and out that way towards that tree down there. So all the water's going to drain this way, either through this drain here or the drain at the back of these at the back of these paddocks. So we've got to make sure these are nice and clear, ready to drain. Much the same as the other side there has the same thing. All that water from that way drains that way. <laughs> I can see the cold from here. She's good. Next one, we'll check the ones on the other side of, on the way back. opposite the Pioneer here, there's a culvert runs across here and as you see the end of him here, I don't know if you can see him but the end of him here is blocked up just here so we'll uh, give him a quick clean out and then we'll, um, he's fine, that big fella's fine and then we'll follow this drain back that yeah, way. Much better, there's a big lump just there blocking him so much better, as you can see he's actually draining Slight bit of movement going that way now, so Shoji is holding a little bit of water. Okay, let's go. Very, very important when doing anything with, that involves a fence line and water, turn the fence off. It's five seconds. So just ensure, turn off those fences when you're going cleaning culverts or um, doing any work near a drain with a fence to buy it. So happy with that. She's done and dusted. Nice and cleared. We're ready for this rain event. To the swamp, yeah, I'm not going to jump in and unclog that one, but lucky Dad already unclogged it with the digger. So. <laughs> I don't feel like swimming. I may have to do a swim in the culvert just where the cows are. Over. Otherwise, I'm pretty sure these two are good. The next one we'll check is the one that goes under the bull race. Yes, the culvert's clear, nice and clear. I can see it's actually still running water from out towards the swamp way, coming this way and going under there anyways. So. Right, as you can see it's not filling up, it's moving water and uh, yeah, don't feel like swimming. Okay, that's us. <laughs> Call it a um, day there. was he had some flooding over here like we have now and what he's done is he's put a culvert under that raceway over there and then one culvert under the race here comes out here and goes back under this race this gateway and then another one cleared to the corner and now let's go directly under there to the other side yeah. of this one there we go that all died because I didn't actually clear it out I forgot about it Dad cleaned it out and managed to drain it, but too late. So now I've shoveled it out, given it a bit of a low point. So now it should hopefully all drain that way, that one, to that one, to there. <laughs> on the salt so hopefully we get another ton of salt eventually but we'll get there in, we'll get there in time so i uh, see you all at milking tonight afternoon so my job to go get the cows in today the furthest paddock on the farm well not the furthest but definitely one of the furthest day ones They're on their way but some of them haven't even noticed they're leaving yet so We'll go grab them and we'll carry on and go milk some cows. <laughs> you saw her here, so you had to chase them down. <laughs> oh well, we'll get them up. So finally put
pushing over this way and they barely even touched any of the grass loads major or clover in amongst the uh, rushes here so have plenty of time tomorrow to push into that So they've eaten a lot of grass in the easy areas. There's nothing left of their silage or maize, but they've still got a bit of uh, grass left over in the rushes, oil amongst those rushes. A lot of grass, clover, lotus major. Well, tomorrow they'll get onto that. Right, let's carry on. Follow these girls up. Making their way up slow. Girls are liking their salt. Come on. Come on girls, up we go. Come on. Nailing that salt. Come on. Good Made girls. it. Dad's got the sprinkler going. The cows are getting nice to get a little mist on them. It's pretty hot. Um, the cows are on their way out. Dad's let the first row go. Right. Oh, we'll get in there and milk some cows. Oh well, I think that's us for today. These girls didn't really want the silage, they were all sitting down and I had to drive around some of them. But, they'll eat it. I'll finish it all off. Well, I think that's us for today. Like, and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the morning. Thank you. Right. So, um, actually we're going to go back now, take off the round bale feeder, because it's a lot easier to take off now. And then we'll put on the trailer and get it all lined up for the morning. There we go, we got her all hooked up now, the bow feet is off. We'll just leave her here, perfect spot, ready to go for the morning. Okay, well, I'll lock this all up, and we'll uh, see you all in the morning.